Hey what's going on guys and welcome to the patch 9.6 review. In this patch there are many champion rune and item changes, so without further ado let's get into it. We shall start with Kale who was reworked in the previous patch. Her peak rate has risen to 10 to 13% depending on the rank and her win rate equals 50 to 52%. On the whole it's not that bad as usually champion reworks make their win rate drop due to a huge number of inexperienced players. Kale's main problem is her laning phase and early game. She's mostly played in the top lane, where she simply can't counter such champions as Jace, Riven, Jax and many others. However, if Gale manages to survive the laning phase, she'll turn into a killing machine, who is almost impossible to stop, especially in low elo. The devs think that her late game is too strong, so her late game power gets nerfed. Attack damage growth and attack speed growth decreased. It will mostly affect high rank players. If you're diamond or lower, no worries, after level 16 you'll still be able to finish the game with victory. Next, Nico. She was already nerfed once, midway through 9.5. As we mentioned in our blog, players started using Nico not the way it had been intended. With an on-hit attack speed build, that is. In the mid-patch, Riot nerfed her base stats, attack speed and damage growth. They also cut down her on-hit damage from W at later ranks. In 9.6, they partially rolled back those changes. Plus, Shape Splitter no longer procs twice in a row at very high attack speeds. Nevertheless, this tweak won't be enough to make Nico shine just like before the mid-patch. Orn. After his last rework, this champion has completely disappeared from the game. Obviously, Riot are not satisfied with this result, so patch after patch they have been trying to buff this guy. W cooldown decreased. Slight but sweet buff for those who enjoy playing this champion. Also, Q no longer expires if Orn is mid-dash. Riot introduced this tweak much earlier, but it didn't work as planned. So, what can we say about these changes? Orn is still a weak pick both top and bot. The reason is the same, after Riot took his shield from the W ability, he's been struggling to get through the laning phase way too hard. Patch 9.6 will make Orn just a bit stronger, but won't get his popularity back. Don't rush to pick him in your games. Let's move on to Urgot. In our previous patch reviews we already touched upon this issue. At the start of the season this champion was way too strong, as he had good lane control and a high trade potential due to his shield and area for 5 damage. For that reason he was a safe blind pick, and he had very few bad matchups. After the nerf in 9.5 Urgot's win rate has dropped to 44% and peak rate to 1%. Riot wanna fix that. Echo in Flames, passive, no longer deals 10% reduced damage to enemies hit in the last 5 seconds, stacking 3 times. This will increase Urgot's all-in potential and might even open his way to the jungle. Next, W shield removed, cost, cooldown, damage reduction decreased, now a permanent toggle at max rank. Yep, you heard that right. Now W becomes a toggle at max rank, with no mana cost. E now shields, damage and cost increased, cooldown decreased. Notice that you don't have to attack an enemy to proc the disdain shield, just activate your E. R range, damage, cast time increased. This shield rework will slightly decrease Urgot's sustain in lane. Now he'll have to choose between using his mobility and winning a trade due to the shield and losing some HP, saving his mobility for an enemy gank. However, the improved range of his ultimate will make Urgot much stronger in teamfights. In general, this match will definitely give Urgot a solid buff. We assume that he'll become one of the strongest top lane champions. The next champion on our list is Zoe. Her nerf is primarily aimed at high rank and professional players. E cooldown increased. This will especially affect her early game. Now pushing the lane and poking the opponent will be much harder. Plus, Sleepy Trouble Bubble was Zoe's defense tool against ganks. She could just pop her bubble and hop under the turret. But now when its cooldown is increased, Zoe is much more vulnerable to enemy chain ganks. Plus, its slow decreased late. It will give her opponents more room to breathe, allowing them to cover a longer distance after catching a bubble, thus making it more difficult for Zoe to hit Pedal Star. This change will significantly affect Zoe's win rate at all ranks. If you main this champion, maybe it's not the time to kick her out, but if not, consider making more powerful picks. So that's basically it with major champion changes and now let's move on to runes and items. And there we have Tier of the Goddess line. If you own Mana Mune forward slash Mana or Archangel Staff forward slash Seraph's Embrace, you're unable to purchase the other or another tier of the Goddess. It obviously hit one champion, Ezreal. Except him, nobody else would really use double tier. In any case, it won't affect Ezreal that much. He will still remain one of the strongest marksmen in high elo and a decent pick for lower ranks. Minion Dematerializer. Probably many players are curious about this one. Some might not even know it exists, Biscuit Delivery for the win. And nevertheless, this rune used to be very popular among professional players. 
There were several ways to use it. Quickly kill siege minions to start roaming, or finish custom minions and deal increased damage to them, killing the following waves with just one ability. Lane and minion control allows players to influence the game process. Riot are decreasing the charges on Dematerializer to make the other runes in this path more popular. Now players will have to choose what minion they want to spend their charges on. The rune will lose its flexibility and game impact. It will be picked much less often, despite the fact that its starting cooldown is decreased. Next, Overheal. This one has become too popular amongst marksmen. Players were forced to take it, as it was overpowered already at the lane stage. This rune used to grant too much sustain to its owner, leaving the other runes no chance to keep up. Overheal shield conversion decreased early, making it harder to keep the rune stacked, thus decreasing its trade potential. If you want to play aggressively and push the lane, now you can take Triumph instead of Overheal. But then again, this change is aimed at pros and high rank players, where they can use the game resources to the fullest. In low elo, if you can make favorable trades with overheal or play with a heal support, this rune will still remain a reliable option for champions with a relatively weak laning phase. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. There are some other insignificant changes in this patch, however altogether they might create a serious meta shift. In the top lane we have a new strong pick, or god, well that's a kind of a deja vu, isn't it? And the overheal nerf might lead to more aggressive bot lane combos. So what's the most important change in patch 9.6? Well, let us know what you think in the comments below. On this note, thank you so much for watching this video guys, and good luck in your solo queue.